So I think at this point, we all know about the whole Jonathan Major situation that's going on in Hollywood right now, but if you don't know about it for some odd reason, uh, just quick recap, Jonathan Major's obviously fam famous actor. At the beginning of 2023, he was at the height of his career. And man of the Wasp, Quantumania, Creed 3, he just came off of Devotion. Um, obviously, he rose to fame in uh, Lovecraft Country on HBO. He just debuted as uh, He Who Remains in the Loki series. And he had this upcoming Oscar movie, Magazine Dreams, which who knows when, if, or how that'll be released now. But uh, basically in March, he was arrested uh, for supposed domestic abuse. And recently, very recently, he was found guilty on, I think, two of the four charges. So uh, the one he was actually found guilty for is, or the two, uh, are actually the lesser ones. So he was accused of like full on assault, but the one he was actually convicted of is, I don't know the official legal terms for it off the top of my head, but basically what it is, is like accidental abuse, I guess is the best way to describe it because it was with him and his ex-girlfriend, Grace Jabari. And basically what the jury decided to conclude with is that, um, he did injure her. Uh, but it was on accident. It was not intended uh, because, of course, you know, we've seen footage and stuff like that of uh, she was kind of attacking him and he was trying to get away from her and he like pushed her into a car and then she bumped her head. It's a whole long story. We don't know all the details and the details we do know are pretty fuzzy. But either way, Jonathan Majors, his career right now is not in a good spot because, like I said, he was just found guilty. He's facing up to a year in prison. Uh, he's public image has been stained. He's been fired by Marvel Studios as Kang the Conqueror. He was supposed to be the next face of the MCU. He was supposed to be the next Thanos, the next big bad. And now his career has basically, at least seemingly, come to an end. But tomorrow, we are getting our first interview with Jonathan Majors post-conviction. It's going to be on Good Morning America, a Monday morning exclusive, um, so tomorrow morning we'll be getting this interview. I'm going to watch it, you know, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Um, but yeah, so we're getting this interview and obviously it's, it's a PR thing, uh, most evidently to kind of feel how things are going to go. Uh, but this interview may actually have more impact on the superhero industry than we had thought. Not necessarily with Marvel because I mean, you know, they fired him and there is always the chance they could rehire him. But I, I'll talk about that more in a minute, but I kind of don't think that's going to happen. But obviously we're talking about it on the DC life. We're talking about it from a DC perspective. Why are we doing that? Well, um, it, there's a scooper out there who may have given us some reason to discuss this. So infinite clone on Twitter, who is a bit of a newer scooper, but has been pretty reliable so far, said this the other day, Monday's GMA interview with Jonathan Majors is intended to be a feeler for the public. If A, the general shows sympathy and interest in more Jonathan, B, depending on how light the sentencing is, James Gunn intends to seize his opportunity and invite Majors over to the DCU. Now, let's just talk about this for a second. This may sound crazy to some, but really... Is it? I mean, especially James Gunn specifically, it kind of makes sense. And Infinite Clone goes on to continue by saying he's considered a generational talent and letting him go to complete waste may not be the best move. Internal talks have stated, yeah, have stated, DC does need a Jon Stewart. Let us see how this interview goes. Uh, that first part there, I mean, I, I do have to agree with, like, Jonathan Majors is an insane talent. That was that was one of the things that made him so great as Kang, because Kang as a character really wasn't that fantastic. Like, the writing, there wasn't a whole lot of setup with the character, but Jonathan Majors' performance was what really brought it to life. Jonathan Majors, phenomenal actor, phenomenal performer, and, yeah, I mean, to let him go to complete waste may not be the best move. Um, and specifically, Jon Stewart, though, we do, of course, need a Jon Stewart in the DCU. We know we're getting a Green Lanterns series set in the DCU. Uh, that is going to be uh, one of our first series on HBO Max. 
and it's going to be starring both a Hal Jordan and a John Stewart. So we do need a John Stewart actor, and honestly, I I see it again. Jonathan Majors is a great actor. If he was cast as John Stewart again, like I said, depending on how this interview goes, how the general audience feels about him, and how uh, how light the sentencing is and everything, um, I could see this happening. I. Th- I wouldn't be upset about it. I kind of, like, I I could see that as a good casting choice. Uh, Jonathan Majors um, as Jon Stewart. Uh, I mean, there's some synergy there already. John and John, Jonathan. Um, but obviously, I'm assuming it would be a fairly large role in the DCU. Um, and Green Lantern, I'm just so excited to see Green Lantern back Because Green Lantern has so much potential, and then after that Ryan Reynolds movie, they just completely didn't touch the character. Uh, But back to James Gunn specifically, the reason why I totally believe that James Gunn would be considering this is because this same exact thing happened to James Gunn himself. He was fired by Marvel from Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. You know, there were some controversial tweets that came out uh, from his past. He was hashtag canceled and then he was fired by marvel studios and then dc swooped in and was like hey you can come be with us he they hired him for the suicide squad and then marvel was like ah never mind you know what james you're actually pretty cool we like you we're gonna rehire you so then he got the best of both worlds he got dc and marvel and now he's the head of the dcu so um the same thing could totally happen with Jonathan Majors, especially James Gunn being the one that would be making this decision, most likely, he clearly is a person who believes in second chances, especially he himself being given a second chance. He wouldn't be here where he is right now without ha- being having given a second chance. So he's probably more lenient to give Jonathan Majors a second chance in Hollywood as well. And um, now, going back to what I said before, does this mean that just like James Gunn, would Marvel rehire him? I do doubt that because, you know, Marvel Marvel rehired James Gunn because Guardians of the Galaxy just wouldn't really work without James Gunn. And also because that was far less serious of a situation. I mean, James Gunn just had some really inappropriate, uh, not good jokes come out. And they were just jokes. Jonathan Majors was actually convicted of a crime. So... A bit of a difference there, but as we discussed earlier, I mean, Jonathan Majors, what what he was convicted for isn't as serious as it could have been, and so his career is not necessarily over, and again, of all people, James Gunn is the guy that I could totally see making a move like this, and again, I'm excited for Green Lantern, and if we got Jonathan Majors as Jon Stewart Green Lantern in the DCU, I would be cool with that. And also kind of taking him back to his roots. You know, he got his big breakout role in Lovecraft Country, an HBO series, and now he would be returning uh, to HBO, now just called Max, with Lanterns. But this is all up in the air. Again, we'll have to see how that interview goes tomorrow. Uh, But uh, we will have to wait and see. So anyways, guys, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. What do you think about this just possibility that Jonathan Majors could be invited over to the DCU by James Gunn if this interview goes well. And could it be for a character like Jon Stewart, uh, Green Lantern, or are there any other roles in the DC universe that you would like to see Jonathan Majors play? Or are you just done with Jonathan Majors? Do you think he just needs to be sent to prison or whatever it may be? So anyways, guys, uh, thanks so much for watching. Please drop a if you enjoyed this video and hit the subscribe button so I can keep the date on if it goes on in the DC life.